Well, good afternoon, all of you Days of Our Lives fans. Welcome to AfterBuzz TV's Dishin' Days. I am your host, Tony Moore, and we are ready to recap a full week of your favorite episodes of Days of Our Lives. Of course, I can't do this by myself. I have, to my far, 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 far left, the guy whose hair is longer than Peter Reckles' stay in Salem. <laughs> That's definitely true. That is definitely true. Hi, everybody. I'm Mark J. Freeman. And, of course, my chocolate twin... James Lott Jr. The Quiet Store. That's right, the Quiet kids. Store. All right, and of course, thank you guys for watching live. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Oh, let me make. Okay, it's off. Um, <laughs> yeah, mine's off too. Um, also, don't forget to like us on Facebook and Instagram at Dishin Days. That's D I S H I N Days. And to the person who has our Twitter name. <laughs> yes, that's right. Can we have that back? <laughs> <laughs> I saw you tweeted. I, was like, I tweeted him. I was like, um, can I? Can we? But he hasn't been on in a while, back? so I hope yeah. you know. So we are not on Twitter. We are no. only on but Facebook. But we're on Twitter. Instagram. The show is not on the Twitter. The show is not on Twitter, right. but we yeah. here are on Twitter. Well, but After Buzz is on Twitter. Yes. The name Dishon Days. But people, people have been actually asking us <laughs> if we have a Twitter for our show. I'm just saying. So I not ran by us. Keep it not real. ran by us. I told them not ran by uh, us. I don't, I don't know who it is, but uh, but yeah. We have 102 people watching right now. 102? Hello. Mine says 93. Why is mine always off? Mine says Because well, you're always off. Uh, oh, oh. The Toronto. <laughs> I can leave. And took the words right out of I my mouth. I can leave I if you boys want me to. No, no just stay. Please don't leave. We have special guest Billy Flynn joining us. <laughs> oh my God, he's playing with it. He would just say, You almost made me choke. <laughs> <laughs> and so I do because even when we were doing the thing at uh, Day of Days, and I was so totally like, I got this. I mean, we hung out in Niagara Falls, <laughs> we text. You like, I got this. And as soon as I turned to look at him, I was like, at him and you. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys haven't already, got make me. sure oh, you yes. check out all of our interviews from Day of Days. Yes. They are all posted on Afterbus TV. Yeah. Um, we have interviews with Deidre Hall and Drake. We have interviews with Eric Martsov, Jen Lilly, Cassie DePaiva, Camila uh, Bannis, Amy. Martinez, yes, Brian uh, Dottillo, Judy yes. Evans, Wally Kurth, uh, James Judy. Reynolds, um, um, uh, Eric Martzoff, Suzanne Rogers, Meredith Scott Lynn, oh, yes. Aloma Wright, Billy yeah. Flynn, Billy Flynn. <laughs> <laughs> you have to see the Aloma White one too. It's a really good one. Yeah. They finally meet up. I have no. to. Watch, I haven't actually even watched it's that good. one yet. It's good. Yeah. They I haven't watched they, that one yet. I want to save up. the best for last. Yes. Of course. So I'll watch mine and Billy's later. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> okay, well, let's not waste any time. Uh, let's start. And it's now time to start. <laughs> Dish and Days. <laughs> and Jill, Jillan, is it Jillan? Yeah, Jillan, we met she her. She loves when we turn the hourglass, so Jillan, that was for you. Oh, we, got to, we got to meet her, so in person at Day of Days. I hope I'm saying it right. If I'm not, yeah, I hope saying it right. she'll correct me, I'm sure. She was so great. She posted a picture of us and everything. So. Yeah, yeah. Were, yeah, that was great. <laughs> so, kids, I guess we're going to begin. I mean, you guys have been waiting oh. for this. You've been talking about it. Guys, literally from 10.30 a.m. my time on Friday to even till about midnight on Friday, my Twitter feed went crazy. Mm -hmm. I was getting tagged to me, like as if it happened to me personally. It got tagged so much about what happened. My mother called me. <laughs> my sister <laughs> called okay. me. Is it was okay? So we're going. To, so you guys, thanks for your concern. So I was the only one laughing. Yeah, you were the only one laughing. Right, you were the only one laughing. I gave an eye roll. Oh my an eye roll. <laughs> So that gonna, only took a week. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to talk about you guys. It's the whole basically Bo Hope, Bo's death. I guess Caroline's mm -hmm. vision. I mean, the whole storyline. I mean, I I'll let you guys go first because I mean. Okay, well, let me just start with this because it's kind of the odd thing in this okay. whole group. Is I have a rant. The Caroline's so rant, visions. Rant, okay. Yeah. Are these going to continue? I wonder. And like, at, I don't know. Like, I get. Like, I get that it was because of the drugs kind of thing that she's maybe seeing this but now that we're playing this like she's always going to have a vision of what's going to happen like is she going to did but she not have a vision that her co-worker would, didn't show up for work early in the episode <laughs> like you just have selective visions but well it's very selective because it's only been about both oh, that's right true. exactly so, so, so that's it so it may stop and then okay yeah. so you both I think text me at one point saying you had rants did you not yeah we have always yeah. rants so we'll let him go first hit it run Hit it run. <laughs> Here's my rant hashtag about... Hit it run. Right. Can we, Mark, can we get a hashtag uh, rant? Hashtag we rant. need a hashtag rant. Dish, days rant or days something. Rant. I don't know. We'll, we'll work on it. Oh, under the lower oh, Yeah, third? so every yeah. time we rant, the way they, Mark they know they put it out there because yeah. we tend to do this. We do. Where to begin? You guys more than me. 
Oh, tried it. Oh, so, so y'all like, wait a minute. I'm like, mm. so listen. Here's here's my rant about about this whole storyline is that once again, and I'm going to continue my rant from when we were talking to Daniel Cosgrove and, and Aiden how I feel about that. So again, we saw a beautiful moment between that that started happening between Aiden and Hope, and mm-hmm. we were all on board with it. Right. We were devastated. I think when she had to go through the whole thing of like losing Bo and and realizing that he's not coming back and the divorce and everything like that we felt bad for it then we rejoiced because Aiden came along and made her happy Aiden kind of went cuckoo for a second but then it turns out he wasn't cuckoo and then he went back to being cuckoo and then then insert Bo and now mm-hmm. we are seeing this thing where he's being tortured and he's uh, he's doing this he's trying to escape he has he near death so many times trying to get to Salem all the while to then arrive in Salem and be told that he has a brain tumor and then it didn't even last for months he literally kissed Hope and maybe it was her kiss <gasps> No, mm-hmm. and and what 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 makes me so upset about this this whole storyline is that you did all this to reconnect Bo and Hope for a split second, and then go like Hope. I think has just had enough happen to her the past week or two to then end on this. So now what is that supposed to drive her into the arms of Rafe like mm-hmm. you guys have been playing? Is, mm-hmm. And then also tidbit is almost like Bo gave the okay to kind of like, hey Rafe, comfort her. She seems very comfortable around you. No, 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 no. Like I kind of wish they had not killed off the character, but maybe sent him somewhere. Maybe not even brought him back. Like I don't know. I, I just I I rolled my eyes so hard when that end scene when he just died and it, and it reminded me also of Lexi when she died yeah, yeah. and eight but that one was that one got to me because it was such a build up and we saw a decline in her health and, yeah. and, and we saw all this happen so to her to where when she died it was it was almost kind of peaceful mm-hmm. if you know if the sun was setting they were sitting mm-hmm. in their garden he was in her arms and then she just kind of Tripped left yeah. and then with this it's just like <laughs> <laughs> like what is that to do what? to fans? You know, um, it, I, I, mm-mm. <laughs> good sir. Okay, everyone, you guys have been waiting. I've been really quiet on social media because I didn't want. I want to stay here for the show, okay. and I'm glad you guys tuned in. Um, here's my statement. I think they should have brought back Peter Rickel. I'm with you on that. 100%. I think they should have, as a, as the historian, as the person who cares about the show, the person who loves Hope. Of course, you guys all know this character of Hope. I think they should have not brought her back, brought him back. I think they should have kept him off the show and just went a whole other direction because I think Rafe should have done what he did. Right, like he should have been the one that broke in and rescued her and done all that. I agree. I think it was a slap to the face of the fans, especially longtime fans like us, mm-hmm. and especially to me, who's been a fan since 1983 when they first met. Mm-hmm. It was a complete slap to my face um, because I know that there's outside stuff. Going on, and then there was these these things saying that Peter Reckles said. I don't know. I was. I didn't see the interview that he didn't want to come back on unless he was killed. Well, someone did. Uh, someone corrected so, that. Someone, someone corrected correct that. They, okay. they, they said they have watched. Uh, I'm glad you brought that Good, up. They said they watched uh, pretty much all the interviews with Peter Reckel and there was no mention of that. So I okay. don't. I don't think that that is true. Okay. So that even even with that, then yes, they should have not brought him back because it was too fast. I understand fast writing. I get it. And everything, but that was, I mean, for the character of Hope, for the storyline purposes, it was like he was here and then he's gone so fast. I was completely, now, mind you, I was devastated on Friday. <laughs> I, I did, I did, I, because I try to remember the outside stuff, I did try to go into the storyline and kind of go with it and feel it. That's, that's what I try to do when I do these shows. And like the scene with Doug and Julie, I really love that scene. It actually kind of got me a little teary eyed. Um, the scene with Rafe this does make sense in a way he would ask Rafe to look after her I kind of got it but after all was said and done I think he shouldn't have come back no and then to like to do the whole surprise thing and like wear what he wore when they first met I was just like Mm-mm. And planted the tree. Mm-mm. I mean, I love the flashbacks. I mean, I, I, mean, I did love oh, all the flashbacks. The they, flashbacks were great. Yes, they the literally showed the flashback to the episode, to the scene that made me watch Days of Our Lives every day to this day. I was, yes. ne- I was never on. Because <laughs> uh, you covered all your long hair and couldn't see you right. back then. Um, so they actually showed that. So it was kind of cute because I was like, that's the scene. That's why I'm watching it now. Yeah. Um, those were fun. 
But it was just like, I mean, so you called Chelsea on the phone. Like, we think we got cheated out of that. Well, Kelly and Nikisha both agree with you, whatever, oh, thank you're, you. whatever you're saying. I mean, I think it's just like you got Chelsea. Then, then you have Claire coming, Bell and Claire coming back soon. You couldn't wait. But for there was a little mention of that. There was a mention, but you couldn't yeah. wait. But you couldn't wait on screen to okay, to wait on screen for him to come back. Right. Yeah. Then maybe have okay. Here's something they should have done. If they're going to do that. Wait a few weeks. Wait a few, maybe a month or so. Do like he did on Dallas when Bobby Ewing died originally. Have the whole family come around him. Yeah, I had a real emotional moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they didn't even, he didn't even have a chance to tell them what happened. He barely left his welcome back. <laughs> exactly. No, exactly. It was like it was like it was so crazy. I get, and you know, we've we've all been saying too about like the pace of the show, yeah. and yeah. it does need to go faster and stuff. I think there should be a little happy fast. media. <laughs> right. So it's, it's like, welcome back. We're so happy. Oh, my God. This is such a joyous occasion. I mean, oh, this is great. Right. You survived everything. Well, this is one of the reasons said. why I would love to have writers in here yeah, me too. from the show. Just to find out more about the process, to find more about the background of what's going on. Um, I mean, obviously, we're not going to. They're not going to tell us any, you know, behind the scenes yeah. stuff like that, like gossipy stuff or you know, whatever. Um, but just like out of curiosity, like how the process works and how like they come up with this. Why you know why bother bringing somebody back to just in a week? Bye bye, peace out. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Well, not, not even in a week. Like they they did the whole torture thing. Mm-hmm. They did the whole thing where he's trying to get back to. And I mean, all the odds that were against him. Trying to get back to right, Salem, right. and and I, thank you for the scene where he's laying in the grass and thinking like, "Oh God, you yeah. have a funny sense of humor. Right. Yeah. You made me survive yeah, all, all right. of that, right. only to give me a tumor." And but well, uh, the other thing I was thinking though too is that that because like and they even made a comment, which I kind of wish if they hadn't made this comment, I might have been a little bit more okay with everything. But the fact that they made a comment about that it was yesterday yeah. that Hope got married, like if you would have just not. Like, Imagine. made us think, okay, maybe more time has, has elapsed. Yeah. yeah. Like, the fact that they were dwelling on all this stuff happened yesterday, just the ridiculousness of her, this all happening yesterday. Right. Yeah. And now you're okay. And, and like, her even getting out of the hospital. And, right. she, like, when I was, and she was back, and they had the scene where she was walking in the house. I'm like, oh, oh my, oh. Right. She okay already? Yeah. Right. I don't even think, I mean, I just want to go to a hospital and just say, can I ask a question? Right. How quickly, if somebody came in after getting strangled and beat, would you let them out to go <laughs> to go home? You know what I mean? right. like, Back to the place right. where they I mean, were I get, the and then maybe it is they can leave whenever they want and all this stuff. And I know we're reading way too much into it, but it just, I, it really just is a little unsettling that he came back, that he came back so quickly, right. that it just, yeah. What's well, well, I'll say, people, I'm seeing people on here, and I kind of, I understand what some people are saying. That at least they rede- they redeemed him in some level. Obviously, Bo is now kind of redeemed. You can do that with a letter or a phone call. I know. I agree. So that's what I'm saying. Exactly. So, people, are saying, people are kind of saying that. So I, I see where you're coming from, folks in the chat room saying I get it. But the part that made me also ridiculous, and someone Cheryl Hawk just brought this up. Bo slept with Hope. Why would Hope want to have sex with him? She just was about, almost married yeah. to Aiden. That to me was a ridiculous thing to happen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He was suspending disbelief. It was like that's too far fetched. So uh, while we're on the subject of hope, let's talk about her yes. and what she's been been through in twenty four hours. It, yes. So you have almost been killed. Yes. Your and husband by your husband. Uh, your husband, husband. Right. Your husband is now killed right. by your who you yes. thought yeah. was your well. <laughs> Who you thought was no longer around, your ex-husband, yes. yeah. right. Bo, um, to only then come back to the house yes. that everything happened in, and you are not even in the mindset to be in the house because there's still reminders of what mm-hmm. happened supposedly. Right. I mean, even yesterday. that she recovered from that so quickly. I know, I know. She no, she hasn't fully recovered because there's been the look down at the rug and seeing the stain. Well, no, I'm saying just, that, just even that rest. whole process. You know what I mean? With right. Sierra coming down with her clothes and stuff like that, like, Mom, you need to get it together. Like, it's like, okay, and she, and, I got this. And, and they, they, bounce her, they bounce her back and forth between, like, being really, like, depressed and out of it to, like, then, like, putting on clothes and being okay. Mm-hmm. Like, just have her depressed. I agree. Just yeah. have her, like, like she not, yeah. not being <laughs> able to function. But instead, you not have... Not for two weeks. You, right. But, right, no, right, but, but, you know... But you have her, yeah. you, you have her going through... I, I think it's it's too much for a character right now. Yeah, you I have agree. her dealing with 
the death of Aiden and the person who tried to kill her, mm-hmm. the return of Bo, mm-hmm. um, the now learning that Bo had a brain tumor, mm-hmm. to the fact now that he has died in her arms. So that's two people mm-hmm. that have now, and then now you want us to believe that all of this is going to drive her into the arms of Rafe, right? Um, and also, I'm sorry. I don't see. I don't mind the actress who plays Sierra. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like hating on her or anything. Uh-oh. But the writers, well, these people, dis- don't like I know they like her, but they did a disservice by having her push. You're my parents. You should be together. You should be together. Like just pushing it so hard, so hard. It was just like, come. You can get married now, right? Like, w- I'm not, glad they not, didn't. Not, not at the welcome didn't. back. Yeah. yeah, not at the welcome yeah. home party. Well, another thing I was going to point out too. A lot of everything. I feel like a lot of stuff that happened this week, other than the burning bed with. Uh, Chad and Abigail. Oh, that hasn't happened yet. I know. I'm saying other than that, oh. I feel like everything that we saw in that video oh. from Day of Days happened this week. Lava Day. Most the of Victor yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah. All that stuff was like, I was yeah. like, oh, okay. That's yeah. just, it's too much. Because so, so, I got the impression, like, when they that show that, I'm thinking a, this is going to be like the next couple months. Yeah. Uh-uh. That's yeah. next week, girls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> even, even even Lisa Rinna posted, did Bo Brady really die? She posted oh, did she really? Yes, she did. I thought of you. She did have a beautiful picture of her in the People magazine. Oh, did she? Mm-hmm. Yeah, why don't she? Why don't you come on our yeah, show? Lisa. 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 I, I have Lisa. tweeted her a couple times. Probably Me not too. enough. I'll tweet you. I'll, I'll have to I'll step it up to Billy Flynn tweeting level yeah. and get her in <laughs> here. But the thing is, it's just. I mean, now we're gonna head. I'm really scared because of the funeral. Because I have a feeling I'm gonna be disappointed. They're not gonna bring probably. back. They're probably gonna bring back Chelsea. I mean, oh, they're not going to bring back Chelsea. Well, that's Chelsea. why he had to call her. Is Claire going to come back? With I think Claire and Bell are and back? Bell are coming back for the funeral. Okay. I think that because isn't she in black when she's uh, having that argument oh, with, with okay. Sean? Yeah, so I think now, they're back for that. What about Kimberly? Patsy Pease? What's she? What's she doing? Well, there's no rumor that she's coming back that I've I know. seen. I know. Um, I just want to say something else too in regards to because we kind of you know my rant a while back about the will in will stuff and the gay storyline um you know and like the whole thing about because I, I somebody i don't know if somebody wrote it in the chat room or if somebody tweeted about it and it kind of got me thinking i was like you know what you're kind of right you know the whole thing was that they want to bring bidets back to the romance yes and the you know all the stuff and the, the, you know all the stuff but since it's been the new writers yes it has literally just been i mean i get there's a killer but it's just yep. been death and you know what I mean? It's all this yeah. horrible, heavy stuff, which is making it hard for courts of the week. Um, <laughs> but like, it's just like it's all this hard, and like, it's like you know, you're gonna get rid of the storyline because fans or whoever don't like the gay storyline. Yet, it's okay for a husband to murder, attempt to murder his wife. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like. If you're gonna preach it, then live it. Live it. Right. You know what I mean. Don't just say you're doing this because of this. this. But you're not really. This, there hasn't been romance. The flower petals yeah. with Steve and Kayla. Yeah. You know, yes, Bo and Hope had their week to kind of their day touch base before mm-hmm. he pieces out. You know, but it's like if you're gonna do. I mean, maybe it's to come. Yeah. Maybe my I'm a premature rant. I don't like to do it too early, but. I don't know. I kind of agree with the person. I don't remember. I didn't write it down. Who said? Lori Angel Seven says uh, hashtag Death of Our Lives. Death of Our Lives. Yeah. <laughs> Amen to that. But just uh, yeah, hashtag not, Death of Our I'm Lives. Not, I'm not looking forward to the funeral either. I think it's going to be disappointed. It's going to be just uh, something thrown yeah. together with the people that are there. I think I'm not going to be to you. Yeah. You're welcome, Kendra. <laughs> So I mean, just, it just overall, I tried to follow along with it, just to, as for the sake, it's just kind of following what they were doing. And my big, my big thing is, I think they should have brought him back. Otherwise, Peter Rickles should just stayed off the show. Yeah, but <laughs> well, you know what though, um, and I will. Oh, I hate when I agree with Daquan. Oh, uh oh. Um, it doesn't happen often, but he did say something about we were talking about Caroline's visions. Yes. That maybe she's going to have visions of him in the afterlife. So maybe we're going to see more of him. Well, like in fact, well. I don't know. It's Daquan said it, not me. I'm just. Repeating what he said. It could, it could be. I mean, who knows, right? Repeating. He's Listen. all in a mood because Sammy's back. Listen, <laughs> I, this whole yeah. like bringing them like they die and then now, they come see, back in spirits. Like I'm. I'm I done would, with that's a soap staple kind of. They do it. They well, do staple it shut. <laughs> Hashtag Good. staple it shut. shut. I like that. I like and, this. and I, I actually read somewhere earlier on a on a. Um, Facebook uh, group for days mm-hmm. that one woman had put that you know all this death that's happening like she can't watch soaps are about um, you know who's sleeping with who and yeah. cheating and all this kind of stuff like my and, life and, yeah because it's so near your life <laughs> um, but I, I want to encourage fans oh, yeah. you know 
don't give up on the show yeah, no. because yeah. things are not completely working out. Mm-hmm. Tune into our show every Sunday at 7 <laughs> p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Time <laughs> and rant with us. Exactly. Um, yeah, but, yeah, don't but, give up. Yeah, but don't, but give don't give up on the show. Oh, Mark, yeah. Mark even put it in the hashtag staple it shut. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Um, yeah, don't give up. But, but I, uh, I agree that if you're going to bring back Peter Reckle, um, Make him stay. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, or like, at least like, stay a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah, like it just longer. seemed like, I mean, and if you really want to do what you're saying, you're doing about this romance and all that stuff. Wouldn't it have been wonderful if that this would have been like two weeks of flashbacks? Yeah, no, yeah, right. Two weeks of Chelsea coming back yeah. and and saying goodbye to her, and like you said, leading up to this moment where it's him in a bed surrounded by these people and making this beautiful, wonderful mm-hmm. moment. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I agree. It's just, it's like, oh, goodness gracious. And you know, that's where I, I kind of sometimes feel like hashtag missed opportunity for days in the 50th mm-hmm. is to have those pop-ups. Yeah. Like, like even, even if it's just for an episode, yeah. to see Chelsea Brady I mean, they back. did it for Chloe just to get in a food fight with yeah. Nicole. Yeah. It's like, well, you're going to bring them back and then that's what you're going to do. I hate bring to, them back for a reason. Yeah. I hate yeah. to say this because this is my other show, General Hospital. When they had their 50 to few years ago, that's what they did all year long. Yeah. They brought people back we wanted to see in situations that made sense. Yeah. yeah. They actually yeah. did it right. Like they, Which they, show is this? General Hospital. Um, they did it for a 50. They brought people hmm. back along the whole hmm. year yeah. that it actually made sense when they came back. Even though it was for an episode or two or three. Yeah. And I was hoping Dave was going to do the same thing. Yeah. They really haven't done that. No. Like, where's Anna Demir? I want Anna Demir back on. Where is she? No, no, no. A lot of people don't know that should be on. But Chelsea should have been here. Should have been there. Yeah. I, yeah. Billy should have been there. I mean, I, any Billy. Krista Allen Billy, maybe. Any <laughs> Billy. What is <laughs> Boo69 by says, to me it was like, hey, Bo's back. Bang. He's dead. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like this was that. just too weird. So. Uh-oh. Someone, hi- how did you highlight Daquan? I, and highlight I was kidding, it. Mark, about Caroline. Vis- oh, oh, you're okay. kidding about it? Oh. No. I thought, see, I never know with you, Daquan. I think they do. I, sorry, sorry, like, I would have hey. loved, you know what I would have loved is if, uh, Melanie came back and got killed in a week. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, Intermission and GA just <laughs> tweeted me and said, I think Marlena stayed in the hospital longer after being attacked by Ben. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah uh-huh. hello. Thank you, hello. Yeah. So anyway, so that's how, that's how I guess is what we all think about it. Wow, point. we're still on this number one of our... Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, but that was a big thing. That, really that, that, was, that was a huge thing this that was week. A huge was, thing this week. Yeah. You know, the... And... And then to watch Kayla and Steve like be the only two people that know, right. you know yeah. what's happening, and and just not for Bo to have like I I thought for a second that while he was doing his speech and everything like that during his party, uh, explaining in a very comical way on how he returned or, or like that was kind of fun. That was yeah, kind of fun. That he would then say, you know. I've done all that and now discovered this. Not to be a sour patch, but like now this is what's going on. Because now, next week, yeah. now we have to deal with Am everyone. I finding out. They'll be like, he's dying. You're going to hear that all beginning. Especially the yeah. first two or three today, we're going to hear that all. Oh, he was dying. He was dying. He was yeah. like, he died. We're going to hear that all. There's going to be dialogue yeah. for the next two or three episodes. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah. Um, speaking of those two people, Steve and yes, Kayla. And Kayla. Um, so they are being haunted by <laughs> someone who letters and texts. Yes, who I think we all we know, all know who it is. Yeah. Yes. Um, but uh, I love that Kayla was just like, "I got this. I'm going to deal with this." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she did. Like, I, she's been she's been pretty sassy. Yes, she has, even she I, has. I even told her the scene that she had with Caroline oh, yeah. that week, and oh, yeah, Caroline, yeah. she was like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, you faked it. You're staying." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like her little. Yeah, yeah, Kayla's t- she's done. She's like, I'm just done with all this secrecy. Yeah. Oh, yes. I know what I was going to ask you. Oh, yes. Since we're talking about Kayla and Bo and the Bradys, mm-hmm. um, does anybody know, is Roman the oldest, like the order of yes. the kids? It's Roman, Kimberly, uh, Kayla, Bo. Bo. That's, that's where the affair happened. He's the last right. one. Right, mm-hmm. okay. And then he adopted Max and Frankie. Got it. Okay. They're, they're Thank like you. The I, thought, I just wanted to know that. And that's always my little brother. He was because he's the youngest, and that's why I always felt yeah. like Caroline and Bo were so close. Yeah, it worked because that was her baby. Yeah, that's you know, so yeah. her baby. So yeah. yeah, her baby from the affair of her lover. Oh, and he spoke some Greek this week. I said, yeah, he speak some yeah, Greek. He did. He did this in Greek. Yeah. So he did his little Greek thing. So it was kind of cute. I will say that. That's it. Have you heard Abby Devereaux might get killed off? Nope. 
<laughs> but yeah, no, but Steve and Kayla, it's just funny that Kayla is actually stepping up and just saying, okay, we need to work together as a team. Yes. Uh, this is going, but she walked in, she was like, okay, now I know you, like, she almost wants to say, I know you didn't just do this to make it a romantic situation. That's not going to work on me. And he's like, sweetness, I know this is going to work like, on you. I yeah, know so you. So, like, why would I do this? Right. But then again, it did bring them together. Though. It, 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 it yeah. did? Yeah, but I feel like she's so resistant. She still loves Steve. She does. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. But she's so resistant. I feel like she has anger towards like him and what happened mm-hmm. and then on top of dealing with everything now with Bo mm-hmm. and Joey and like Kayla just has a lot on her plate she, yeah. needs, she needs some sex that's what, that's what she needs well then, well, then what they should have did was lay down bow, bow. Yeah, lay down on those bed of roses and just, <laughs> and just that's, what care that's what she needs she's gonna work it out but it, I mean I like seeing I like seeing them together of course and I, I, I like them together they were one of my couples back in the day so I like seeing them together which yeah. is really happy um, yeah, so, and I mean, that's pretty much it with their story. Yeah, they, they were on every day, but basically, that's we just basically, they were the yeah. whole both yeah. thing them. We all think it's Ava, of course, obviously. Well, yeah. I mean, we don't think we know. Yeah, we know. Uh, from the ju- judging by that preview, we know. But, historian James, remind me, because I was trying to think of this. I remember when, when, when Tamara Braun was on. Mm-hmm. As Ava. Tamara Braun was on. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't, don't know I don't. Remember the connection she has with Steve, with Patch. If I remember correctly, they, they knew each other beforehand right. on his adventures, and she was trying to get him back. Africa. Yeah, Africa. Okay, so that's, that's the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, there's that. So, okay. uh, moving on. Next thing is um, Miss Samantha Jean has Samantha been Jean. kidnapped <laughs> and was searching for a signal, darling, sweetie, darling. She was just going around. Um, yeah, so she had her moment with Andre in <laughs> captivity, uh, which then... I'm still. I don't really know what's kind of going on. Like I'm waiting to see this unfold because I just kind of don't really well, get. I feel. Like although I thought she looked fantastic, I loved great. her in the jeans and heels. <laughs> like I think. Keep it up. I liked the outfit. I, think, I just don't think everyone needs to be in a dress twenty four seven. That's true. No, that's true. Halfway. I think this is what's happening. I think we we're seeing another classic case of a. Wasted a, opportunity. No, of, of a of a Demera son trying to take over Demera Enterprises. Yeah. yeah. The problem is though, is well, that Sammy, not necessarily the enterprises, but the enterprises. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> but not necessarily the business. Right. I'm saying not necessarily. But you're but talking about the yeah, yeah the, everything. All the all, same, all the same Demera, brought, the yeah. brought that up to him. Basically, what you're saying. Yeah. So, yeah. I've seen this before. Yeah. And but the problem is, is that the person who's holding all the cards is Sammy. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad that it clicked with everyone that Andre really is powerless yes. right now mm-hmm. until he gets all those passwords and all mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. Right. Like, and even poor Stefano's being wheeled around Salem and not knowing anything that's he is going on. So oblivious. <laughs> he is. <laughs> he's, he's, I mean, on. he is just at home conducting <laughs> classical music and playing chess. Like he doesn't. He, like he doesn't have a clue. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> it so reminds me of. Uh, Alice's last. Year. Oh my god! <laughs> I know so, this guy was coming. And it's in. not funny, but it's just uh, come on. But they had like, her sitting. They well, he's sit. sitting. He's sitting yeah, and rolling. Yeah, yeah. Sitting at least rolling. she would get. <laughs> she would that. She'd be in the chair at the horse house. Chair, yeah, yeah, she'd sit in her yeah, chair, right. and they'd all just yeah. walk into her, and then they'd walk away from her. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I agree with you. And Sammy totally kind of called him out on it. Like, okay, I get another Demir son. Yeah. Yet another time trying to get you know. It's like, and he was kind of. I mean, they have their own history, of course, as people as people may or may not know. Andre, what's the name? Alyssa Love says he needs to die. <laughs> Y'all are so, You're so mean. mean. See, Alyssa, you made me feel better about me. I'm, yes. I'm not the mean one now. <laughs> and so Andre and Sammy have a whole history. I mean, I mean, back when he kidnapped Lucas and EJ, made her have to choose who's getting shot. I mean, it's a whole history between them anyway. And I, we love Teo. Everyone, once meeting him in person, I see all his scenes so differently now. Yeah. Met him in person, he's so oh yeah hilarious. He's yeah. so funny. Yeah, oh, if you haven't my, seen my interview there, with him, yes. it's and even just before we aired, yes, the he the antics and. He oh was, yeah. Oh, so now so I funny. watch these scenes. I said, "That's Teo," um, yeah. and uh, yeah, and also posted on the Facebook page, our Facebook page, the interview they did on Today Show, and he's really funny on there too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so now I'm watching, and I'm like, I kind of like seeing these two powerhouse actors kind of act together. It's like they're good. I mean, Sammy looks great. Mm-hmm. Um, but my question is, why is it always like dark in these places? Like, why can't you be in a well lit place? Like, well, she's in a dungeon. Yeah, but why can't have lights or something? It's always so There's dark. There's not lights in a dungeon, Grawl. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like, like He's lights. like, I want a well lit. <laughs> I want, I want a well lit. lit dungeon. I want a well lit dungeon. <laughs> hey, when Homegirl was in that, in, that, uh, in that cage years ago, it was all nice in there. Marlena was in there. It was all so nice. You, 
you completely. I am not always the mean my one. Entire life just now. Hey, oh, said I'm always the mean I one. Would, I would like to be kidnapped in a well lit dungeon yeah. if you don't mind. Yeah, please. Yeah. Soft pink gels, please. Let's get to the <laughs> complexion. So, do you guys. Okay, so I here's my. I'm going to do an early prediction that we're going to be saying bye bye to Steph, Stefano. And that Andre's obviously going to be the new. Stephanie. Yeah, I mean, he'll be That's my guess. Stephanie. Stephanie. But do you, how? What do you think? Uh, do you like Andre? Do you not like? Because I'm just getting a lot of people in here that say they do not like Andre at all. Oh, I like Andre. I don't mind him. Um, just curious. We'll see. I'd like to see him and Chad do more battle back. Make and forth. a decision. Nah. Or is it no? No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, do you like? I like or dislike? I like. No, I like. I think. I think. I think him and Chad could be interesting I, fighting. See, I like that, that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for obvious reasons. <laughs> yes. Um, but. I don't dis I don't dislike him. I think that I actually almost think and maybe it's just because I don't really remember the early okay. Stefano stuff. Okay. But like I just feel like he's there and he's just there and just mean. You know what I mean? Like whereas Stefano, I feel like Stefano always kinda had an ulterior motive. Whereas Andre with Andre, I feel like you can do it and it's just like, no, I just wanna be a fucking <laughs> of living, um, yes. Bad butt. And I, well, every soap needs. I love it. Let's, let's keep talking. Hashtag bad mean. butt. Yes. Every soap needs that villain, and they need. And Victor is kind of a villain, but he's a little neutered. He's, he's kind of. No. He's fun. So we need somebody who's an out and out villain. And why not Demir? And why not Andre? I think Andre would be good. Yeah. Because um, I definitely like him and the him and Chad fighting. No, no me too. I like them but fighting, and they get. They need it's Andre. a good. Balance too yeah. for the family. And what was I reading? I don't know if somebody put a tweet or something too, or I don't know if I read it somewhere. Somebody was saying that because they're mad that so many Hortons are getting killed, oh, and mm-hmm. it's like there's Horton Town Square, and somebody was like, "This needs to be Tamira Town Square." Now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you imagine? I know. I can um, see Billy's a bust of Billy Flynn. Of course you can. The, yeah, I'm like, I'm just, um, I have a suggestion. I have, I have a, a suggestion. question for you guys, okay. and I have a question for you guys watching. All right, live. I'll watch the chat room. Right? Yes. Do, Hashtag bad butt. Do we think EJ is alive? Yes. You think so? Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. hundred percent. Me too. Where is he? I don't know. That's uh, I don't know. Probably Switzerland or something. Well, because now that Kristen is dead, dead. I'm putting in quote, air quotes to dead. Because yeah. um, I have fallen out of, I think, three different castle windows, and I have survived. <laughs> <laughs> let it go. Oh, yeah. Let it go. It's, yeah, it, I think it, it explains a lot. Though. <laughs> it explains a lot. It explains a lot. Hit the rocks a um, But I think he's alive. He's alive. I I think so too. And and if he is, then the show is doing magnificent in keeping it so under wraps. They are. They're doing. Yeah. You wait a minute. You think wait. Well, what's under wraps? That he's alive. Yeah. Yeah. They showed. Kristen giving him a shot. How did you not but, think that? No, 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 what no, you no. think but, he was But in? I'm saying, like, at some point, they would have leaked, like, oh, James Scott is, like, back. back. Oh, you like want to know, do I think he's coming back? Or somebody named EJ coming back. Hold on. Let's start over. <laughs> I thought you meant, do I just think he's alive? Absolutely. Okay, do I think okay, EJ well, is going to be back on yeah. the show? No. Oh. Do, you think, do you think he's going to be back on yeah, the show? I think so. At some point, what, uh, what what is everyone saying in in there? Nothing. It doesn't matter. He's, doesn't matter if EJ's dead. James Scott's not coming back. Isn't coming back. I don't. Where's Abby's land at? Maybe EJ's there <laughs> in Ireland or Scotland. What, what, Ireland. What Ireland. Um, I don't like. I I feel like all signs point to him being alive. I but know. here's going to be the you bad mean coming thing. back. Uh, coming back, being alive, whatever. Big here's, difference. He, here's, <laughs> <laughs> he's trying. He's here's trying. The, here's here's the thing that worries <laughs> me is that if he's not okay coming back, alive or coming okay. back. <laughs> And and what Sammy is now going to have to go through oh, yeah. because she has this hope that oh, he's that, that yeah. he's alive. Well, I don't know. I don't. I think what's going to happen is I think she's going to find out that he's alive and then like go to him. But we're not. It's going to be all off camera. Stupid. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, how much of what we have, the new stuff, have we seen that we're like, that's brilliant. and I and I can see them recasting. You guys are saying I think you, they would cast him. Why not? They okay. casted uh, you know, as Chad. I think we cast EJ. Another tall, handsome English man. I'm available. 
We said handsome in English. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think they totally recast it. I think they easily find a right actor. They can recast it. This yeah. just show recast. I mean, they do. They recasted Bo back in the day and Roman. Hello, they can recast Robert Calker Kelly. And and, and I've heard some rumors about him too, but I can't say anything on camera. Oh, about who? Robert, Robert Calker Kelly. Kelly. About him coming back. About some off no off screen stuff. Antics. Oh, off, and why off screen not, antics. Actually, that why he's not on General Hospital or oh, Days of Our Lives. Right interesting. Now. Interesting. Yeah. You can't. You can't pull. pull Sorry. You can't pour that tea into a can. Already and done. <laughs> Already <laughs> done. I'll take off camera. I'll take okay. off camera. Um, so now into some tidbits. Yes. <laughs> oh, is it tidbits time already? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. The major story was the hope. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. It really yeah. was. It, was it really was. Okay, so Ben, uh, Abby, Ben, midwife Nancy. I called her. I was like, is that Sarah Palin? <laughs> I was like, oh. Sarah Palin, come here to deliver a baby. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was so when he pulled at the end pulled that gun out. I was like, no, like, like, well, like, I, like, like, no, bitch, you will be sent. You will be have a baby here. At one point, I was like, well, she's going to demand. Right. I, I, to. I assumed that was. Well, she started happen, to. But, yeah. And he was like, yeah. he's like, no. Yeah. Now I wish you would have held the gun like that though. <laughs> I mean, like, as a nurse, as a former nurse, they should have had Abby Candy Striper. Okay, I, was like, <laughs> I, I went to school. I was a nurse. <laughs> As a nurse, no. Um, as a nurse, um, I've had a few. I've, <laughs> I've, I, for me, there were some inconsistencies that she should have been laying on the bed when he was shooting examined. It's hard to examine somebody when you're sitting in a chair like I'm sitting, right. like, okay. like this. And she didn't notice that she was chained to the bed. Yeah, exactly. There, there are things that were wrong that I was like, they they could have done better in terms of because she is. I mean, she's she's pregnant on the show. Right. They could have been a little right. better. I was kind of rolling my eyes right. on that. I'm I'm starting to. F- I applaud Robert Scott Wilson oh, and Kate Mancy. I agree the for work. the work that they're doing. Performance is absolutely. Oh, I agree. However, comma, <laughs> it's like Ben, get it together. <clears throat> she is clearly yeah. in pain and mm-hmm. labor, and she's not faking it. Anymore. No, not faking it at all. You're now running the risk of your child because you don't want people to find. Because you're just so in love with this. I almost want to send him a new right. girl and be like, fall in love with her. Yeah, right. Here's, like, your, here's your new girl. Have a good day. Yeah. Right. Well, and I, here's my here's kind of my thing about the her, like her being chained to the bed and stuff. It's like I just it just I agree <gasps> she should be in the bed. Mm-hmm. I don't get why she's sitting in a chair and chained to the bed. Like she can be doing that exact same stuff laying in the bed. Yeah. Right. Um, exactly. And it's like I just feel like too like women. Are kind of hashtag bad butt what about their kids? Yeah, I just I just see super Abby. Like that's all I yeah, see. It's like right. this like I'll chain me to whatever. I'll drag the bed across the floor. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. I just want to see super Abby. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I, I just like I, I just feel like if if there was a it was a real woman who was in that predicament and he walked out the room it's like oh let's go bed and all yeah, out right. the door right. I'll turn it on its side I'll drag it out <laughs> yeah. I'm getting this baby you know what I mean right, like yeah. I'm protecting this baby right. and that's what I want to see or even or, or even just to see <laughs> her hashtag s- super Abby <laughs> or even just to see her snap and be like look Ben yeah. I'm having a baby, baby. Right. Yeah. you are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs yeah. get me off of here yeah. now I was I'm going to the hospital <laughs> oh! I was in I was in the delivery room with a friend of mine when she had her baby. I watched. It was a natural childbirth. Everything. Yeah, I, guess, yeah. I was like, oh, uh, girl. I mean, I, I mean, I have to I say, Kate Nancy's doing a great she's job because yeah. I was like, oh, believable. Yep. Yeah. Um. So yeah, she needs. To, no, she's doing a great. No, she's doing a great job as a, as a person in early labor. I, I mean, she's doing a great yeah. job. At least they're commenting that it's premature labor. It's premature like labor. they're not going to try and yeah. pull this off. Is that she's nine months? No, they are. I'm like, girl, she just put that pillow in her belly. Yeah, she lo- like really last did. week Thursday. Yes. Yeah, so and right. now it's like. Oh, but like I said, but for me, comes. as a former nurse, it was really hard for me to watch some of these scenes. I'm like, that just, I mean, she needs to be laying down. She should be sweating more. I mean, there's things to be happening that they do on shows. They do show, like, realistic kind of, you know, these kind of things. And this wasn't as realistic. How many of you guys went, oh, when she dropped the phone? Oh, I know. Yeah. So I, was like, <laughs> I was like, I don't care how hard that contraction is. Right. You better clunk so, yeah, no, like, yeah. like, I know. Yeah. I, <laughs> Oh, I, yeah, exactly. That's what I would have done. I was like, I was just like, oh, she dropped the phone. Uh, and then <laughs> she's trying to like scoot it underneath the thing. And then, <laughs> yes. Uh, but I love. <laughs> oh, no, I'll mention that later. Oh, one. So yeah, so I think I mean this storyline's. Sarah wrote a message to you. Who? Oh. Where? What is it? 
Tony no longer cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. He is full on Cracker Jack. Yep. <laughs> he is. He is. Com- he is completely cracked out. Yeah. At he this is. point. Yeah, but he's doing great. Again, Robert Scott Wilson's doing great work. I, I kind of yeah. like him now. He's crazy. Um, I don't know. He's. A, I don't know. He's a little too crazy. It's like uncomfortable crazy. Well, yeah. but he should be at this point. He's just now. He's off the deep end. I mean, he's just. He's done. But my question is, how is he gonna like come back from that? Come back from what? Being Be, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Like being redeemed. Like you think he's saying in Salem? I think I think so. I haven't heard anything otherwise either. I haven't heard anything otherwise either. Was, was he going to strangle himself? Because <laughs> 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 right now, unless uh, they, they have to keep him on the show for a while anyway, because they have to figure out that Aiden was the, the next high killer, right? At some point, figure it out. Well, uh, I mean, a bow can die in a week. That can happen in twenty, in an hour and a half. <laughs> Show's only an hour. <laughs> Say an hour and then a half yes, right. of the next day. All right, well, that's that's enough with that tidbit. Yeah. yeah. So then, um, in relation to that, yeah. um, Chad has been all over Salem trying to convince everybody that's right. uh, that something is wrong with her. Um, I feel like he almost convinced Rafe. I feel like yeah, he did. I think that, I feel like Rafe kind of does. I think he did. I feel like Rafe kind of He's kind of playing it. it cool, like, yeah. bro. Yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then he went to Marlena, which okay. And I have to say this: <laughs> I love their scenes together. I think they got- I do like them together. But what I thought was a little ridiculous is like when he comes to the door and he just he literally just knocks on the door, and John was like, "Oh my god!" And I'm like. He just knocked. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he needed to knock, like, two or three times to justify the anger that John had for somebody knocking at the door. Like, I, it just seemed a little... Over the top. A little over the top. I'm like, girl, she just knocked on the door. Let's <laughs> yeah, but, but like, I think people I think knock the, on doors. I think the fact that it was a Demera yeah, and, he was like... But he didn't off. know who was at the door. He got angry before even... Well, the they're, they're, they're in the midst of trying to figure out everything with Samantha Jean. Yeah, exactly. Knock at the door. I, it just seemed a little dramatic like, Well, also, uh, the other thing uh, that was... A little strange was the fact that Marlena and John were having like a little, you know, whatever little moment, and he's just sitting on the couch like oh, yeah. waiting for his turn. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah, they're going back, they're going back yeah. and forth. He's like, oh, do do. Um, no, but I like them together. I like I like Marlena, Marlena and Chad get together. There's some kind of weird chemistry there. I mean, not nothing yeah. like we like, mean just like acting chemistry, the two of them together. And he was trying. He said, hypnotize me. Hypnotized me so I can remember, and he went back and he didn't remember anything. After all of that, he didn't remember. He couldn't remember. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't. Yeah, he didn't remember anything new. I know he re- no, He did remember. He remembered that he said something about being. Um, you're accusing him of. He remembered. Yeah, you're going to be locked up for a long him. time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He yeah. remembered that. But, but he doesn't know what yeah. about. He doesn't know about. I mean, it's just like, to me again. Still don't know nothing. To me, it means this should you'll know nothing. He can't go there and figure out what Ben knows. I mean, he doesn't know. Yeah. But he wants to eat. But I'm like, again, it's everybody thinking he's crazy because he thinks something's wrong with Abby. Everybody's like, no, she's fine. I got a text from her last. I mean, like. Yeah. <sighs> but, again, they Jennifer started to go somewhere. And once again, in true day's form, they fell off. Yeah. Because she was saying that Abby normally signs her texts yes. with like an XOXO or something like that. Mm-hmm. And she hasn't been doing that these past couple of text messages. Right. So why has she not? went back and said, oh, guess what? FYI, I don't know about these text messages because Abby usually, you know, does a certain signature with it. Right. It's weird. And listen, by... I feel like all families in Salem should have a cold word when they're in trouble. (laughs) Because everybody is being kidnapped, Mm -hmm. near death, all that. At some point, you... On the phone... My code word is Totino's. (laughs) (laughs) We all Seinfeld. I know. So, yeah, so some kind of code word is good. Something like, "Oh my God, Peach." When I cream. call you and I'm like, "Tony, get the Totinos," I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Like, I'm gonna need assistance. Like <laughs> knowing me, I'd be like, "I don't have time to pick those up." <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn to buy them. So you're it's your turn to buy them. Or so, do we really need those? Do we need these? I know. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Uh, okay, it'll be the pizza rolls are cold. Ooh. That'll be the code. <laughs> but good, because you burned them last night. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, not 11 minutes. It's microwave four. versus the oven. Yes. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew there could be such a difference? <laughs> so, uh, moving on to differences, uh, Teresa, Brady, and Victor. Victor finally puts his foot down and says mm-hmm. Teresa needs to get out. Yeah. Um, and there was a slight little... Like reciprocation oh, from right. Brady, mm-hmm. he like as Teresa was like, "You don't love me," and blah, 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 blah. he just went. Sure did. That's yeah. right. Shut her up. So is it messing around? Huh? 
Said he wasn't messing around. <laughs> no, he wasn't. Yes. So, uh, so yeah, there was that tidbit that happened. And he said, I'll take care of you. I'll make sure you're set up and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Well, of yeah. course. But, yeah. like, I mean. He's going to move in with her. Whatever. Gonna happen. And then we got, um, this is a good development, actually. And I'm actually liking this character, um, Abe, Theo, and Lonnie. I'm actually liking Kyle Pence, who's playing Theo. I'm liking his Theo. Yeah. Actually, He's I doing really a great am. He's doing a great job. I'm still trying to figure out, like, I think we talked about that. I asked you about this before about the autism. Yeah. So I'm still trying to see There's different types of autism. Like what, where this is going and how that is. I, it's obviously a touching thing. Mm-hmm. They made that clear. He doesn't mm-hmm. like to be touched. Mm-hmm. Me either, but I'm not autistic. Um, <laughs> unless it's Billy Flynn. Well, I want to. Let's, let's combine these two. We're going to, we're going to talk about CRS yeah. and Joy. Let's combine because I want to talk about them both together. It's all yeah. kind of the same. So yep, let's, let's, do together. let's do it. Let's do it. Because yeah, because 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 Sierra hugged him. Because basically, basically, Abe told him that he has a sister. sister. Yes. yes, that Lonnie is. A and sister. after s- seeing Lonnie and Theo really talking, like bonding, bonding and baseball, they were and yes, and they were looking and at the, tickets for opening day. I yeah. did like him asking Joey, like, "What's it like yes. to have a sister?" Yeah. I, I, love, I thought that was really cute. I am loving uh, James Lasterick, who plays Joey. I'm loving his performances yes. now with. Theo and yeah. Sierra. Yeah. I'm liking the way he's kind of snarky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he cares yeah. about Theo. Like he really yeah. that's his that's his buddy. Well, yeah. I, I think they they they're forming this nice little teen th- twin yep. thing again yep. Yep. Um, where like they have this bond they've grown up together yes. um, so they're very close to each other and everything like that and so we like do that. still think that um, Chase has a thing for Sierra but yes. Sierra has got a th- and then, but Theo has, and Theo has a thing for Sierra. I think so. There's yeah. a dual. That's because because I, did, I did explain to people the other day online. Joey and Sierra are related. They can't. They can't be. The, oh, that's true. They're related. That's true. So they, can't, they can't be. Together. But what about Joey they're and their Belle? They're, they can't either. Claire. Joey and Claire. Claire. They, can't, they can't either. They're related. They're all. Okay. They're all hor- Brady's. So, they're all Brady's. so Claire's going to end up with whoever Sierra Chase is or, with, Yeah, I guess so. Somewhere in there. Yeah. Because maybe Theo will be the one who will be like the one to calm Sierra down a little bit. Like she's the one who's always yeah. kind of out there. Yeah. I mean, if they really develop Sierra as this kind of princessy, smart mouth girl, mm-hmm. I'll like her more. Yeah. yeah. Actually. But the way Joey is playing it, he's so he's so funny in some ways. He's like, but he's also so kind of tender yeah. with yeah. Theo. Like yeah. he's just yeah. like a regular kid. Yeah. But he knows what his what he's dealing with. And I'm really enjoying yeah. the scenes. But I enjoy that Abe talked to Lonnie. I'm glad that Abe has scenes. I'm glad they're all kind of mm-hmm. filming this little kind of family thing. And they brought up Stephanie, of course, because yeah. they know about the whole sister thing. So yeah. I'm really, I'm actually very... Because Lonnie, I mean, we love Sal, of course, in person. We love her, who mm-hmm. plays Lonnie. But yeah. I wasn't really excited about her at all. Now I'm kind of getting like, okay... I'm kind of getting a little excitement there about what could happen there. And then, of course, with the Rafe thing, and she she likes Rafe. Clearly, she likes Rafe on some level. Yeah, but Rafe is not... He's been just like... Not having it. He's trying to keep her as a... Just as a strictly as a co Yeah, he's like... Oh, sure. my God, is that going to be a triangle, Hope, Rafe, and Lonnie? That's a yeah, weird oh, totally. That's a weird oh, totally. triangle. Totally. That's totally going to be. I think so, too. It's a, it's a weird totally triangle. Be. And then Maxine's son arrives Whee! on the scene. That's right. And he goes after Rafe, too. <laughs> 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 and you know Galen will be up for you. He'll be like, you're like, sure, let's do it. We love Galen also. Um, yeah, so okay. that, was, that was a good one. So. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm kind of like it. I, with you, I'm like it. They're starting to develop. I did with the last blast thing and all those mm-hmm. kids. And before yeah. that, it's like, you know, all, they should have their own little storyline. Yeah. They should kind of interact. So yeah. it's, it's good. Yeah. Um, and then just really quickly, John lied about um, <laughs> yes. being fired from the ISA. He told Marlena, oh, And I again, quit. this is another situation sense. that do it, do why it. did we put him in the ISA? I agree. I agree. To just have him leave the ISA I agree. and start Black Patch. Come on, I people. Know. I know. Really? I this know. is what you come up with? This Let's reenact. This is what happened. There's a room. They're all talking. What should we name it? This, this, this. Black Patch won the vote. <laughs> Someone was like, that's it! That's genius! Let's go with Black Patch for the name of the agency. First of all, uh, don't you think at some point John and Steve need to, I don't know, retire from? Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't even get me started on that. Well, it's like folks trying to tell, okay, uh, once again, people, Hope's not going to be pregnant. I'm sorry. She could. She could. Yes, she could. Biologically could. She but could. I don't think that's, I mean, that's not going to be the I don't know, because she has sex with Aiden and Bo. I know. Uh-huh. But come on, if they do that, I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, can you imagine that Within whole drama? Within 24 hours. Of trying to figure out who the We remember is. what happened last time Samantha Jean did that. Yeah. She got a little twinnies. 
Whatever twenty is one from each. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, hope is of a certain age. I'm sorry. It could happen, but it's but not, not necessarily. But you know and now I see if they do make her pregnant, they would uh, probably make it Aiden so that Chase could have uh, somebody else. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, that's a good. That's a good point. And I have a prediction to. I don't want to pregnant. Predictions. Sorry, I don't want to. I actually pregnant. have a prediction. But back to Black Patch. It's. It's. I mean, I don't mind seeing John and Patch. I actually enjoyed it. Yeah, Although I, I thought the little planned handshake was a little. Yeah. Much. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, I don't mind them together. It's that's like fine. the uh, Justin Bieber and uh, what's his name. That did the one. Did you see it on? That was on social media. Justin Bieber and uh, Jimmy not, Kimmel. Not Jimmy Kimmel. Um, Jimmy Fallon. Uh, uh, Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. If you didn't uh, see it. They uh-huh. do the same. It like goes on for like ten oh, minutes, yeah, so like yeah. them doing the. Yeah. So it's like, but that's fine. I'll see them. I'll see them. I mean, but I agree with you. John should have been. Uh, they should have went to the ISA. They shouldn't even have that storyline. I like just that. don't get it. Like I just like. Yeah. <sighs> Because that was that wasn't old writing. That was the same writing. Was, yeah, no, like, they did that. Yeah, it wasn't like that, they were trying the to first clear day up. of writing. Yeah. He tells Marlena he's going to join, and that started the whole thing. Well, exactly. if you're going to join the ISA, then I don't want to be with you. And well, give me a month. Let's exactly. figure it out. Yes, it exactly. Um, and let's just end on something that I think is really odd. Okay. You're the only one. <laughs> And please let me know in the chat room if you think this is odd, because I think this is odd, and Tony Moore doesn't. I just think it's odd that Eric and Jennifer made out a couple days ago. They didn't make out, they kissed. They made out. It was a, it was a very assertive it kiss. It was a very... Assertive kiss. <laughs> and, yet, was. and now we're not discussing it. There's nothing to discuss. Hmm. That's just odd. It was it was literally a everyone Let me look in the chat room. Everyone is supposed to kiss. Oh look, there you are, Jennifer. No one's writing in the chat room. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was it. I well I, it I think we should explore Jennifer and Eric. It would be interesting. Why be not? Interesting. Brady and a Horton, why not? Put them together and see what happens. Okay. Sammy and, and Lucas were Brady and Horton. Yeah, they were. So I mean I, I say why not? Bow and Hope. Bow and Hope. I say why not. Mark is odd. What? Mark, Mark is odd. So real- <laughs> <laughs> I think it's supposed to say it's odd. It's odd, yes. Oh, Mar- oh okay. I was like, so I say Mark Oh, no, odd. somebody else wrote it's odd. Eric and Jen are odd, totally. They're- Haywood thinks I'm mean anyway, so you can say what you want, Haywood. Hey, Anything yeah. Mark says is odd. It's odd. <laughs> Daquan. Is that, is that what Daquan Daquan, yeah. Daquan. yes. Oh, oh boy. So Daquan, you're not invited in the chat room anymore. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, speaking I'm going to put a Daquan blocker. Hashtag Daquan blocker. <laughs> Well, speaking of blocks, um, that's going to be the <laughs> end of our yes. full recap of your favorite soap opera days of our lives. And now we are going to get into our segment, and we're going to start with mine, which is the official Three Snaps Award. Now, I've decided to break up my snaps. Oh, Ooh. another one of those. Okay, you've done okay. yeah. okay. There's three different snaps. Okay. Snap one <laughs> goes to Abigail. Okay. For... Telling their information to the midwife the second she, she went sure down did. to examine. She was like, I'm Abigail Devereaux from Salem. He has been Weston. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> and Ben was like, I think you should be quiet now. And I, and I, and I was thinking to myself, you go, Abby. <laughs> you try, you try to tell somebody else besides you and Ben that, look, you are locked up in this cabin she and did. something ain't right. She so, did. Abigail Devereaux, you get a snap. That's right. My snack is my, my snack is snack is snap. <laughs> my snack. My second snap goes to a furious Marlena oh. <laughs> who storms into Demera Mansion <laughs> and politely removes the chess pieces. <laughs> Off of the chessboard. I am so glad I'm not the only one that was disturbed by that. <laughs> she like she watches she storms in and she's like <laughs> and then she lets them have it. So Marlena, you get a snap. And the last snap goes to the two oldest detectives I know <laughs> who decided to band together and create a whole new like bounty hunter type of an agency called Black Pat. <laughs> And those are Tony's official three snaps awards. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those are good. Those are good. All right. And now it's time for our next segment, presented by James Lott Jr. Yes. Look who's related. <laughs> That's good. I love it. 
love it. Oh, I love it. That's good. I, I don't know. I'm beginning. It's so good. Oh, my God. I want to do it. like an animation with that. I know. That's, that's, that's good. We're I building like there. We're going to build it. Uh, Mark, just for, uh, for giggles, can we get that look who's related again? Look who's related. <laughs> I love it. That's good. Oh my god. Okay, so how do I follow that up? I know, right? I know. Okay, so we're gonna have to start following it every show now. I know now. That's good. Okay, so I to me, I was trying to think of who do I want to. Oh my god, I just I just I'm like what's the Vampire Diaries. Um, what I uh, <laughs> wrong show. There we go. Days of Okay, so I decided to focus this week's look who's related because of now Lonnie Price is now a Carver. I decided to do the Carver family. Now, is there something up there that I should be looking? There at? should be should be a picture coming on so and see what that. I can see. Okay. So you get glasses. Well, the glasses like, oh, are okay. for up close. <laughs> hey, is he? Okay, okay. There we go. in the picture you see Jonah Carver. Oh yeah, with Lexi and and Abe. Okay, Jonah so, was. I'll, I'm telling you. Okay, it's my ahead. segment. Go ahead. Cheese um, and crackers. Ahead. I'm sorry, Mark. <laughs> what's the name of this segment again? Look who's really. Oh, oh, <laughs> not me, Mark. The other Mark. You, Mark. Not me, Mark. Oh wait, did we get? I can... look who's related. <laughs> Feel free to throw that in any time. Any time, right? <laughs> okay, so that's my segment. Let me tell you what's going on. Let's be quick. Okay, so Abe grew up in Salem with his brothers Theo and Jonah. Ah. Uh-huh. And when Theo was murdered, he became a police officer. Okay. That was the whole the whole deal with that. And so Jonah was on for a long time. Time Lewis using that picture was a person who was on for a long time. Fought a lot of storylines. Okay, and then um, Abe, of course, Jonah left. You know, Theo was killed. Jonah, Jonah left. Abe has a son, Brandon. With the late Faye Walker, mm-hmm. we find out later. Brandon didn't. Know oh, yeah. Was yeah. it until way later they mm-hmm. found out when Faye came back on the show, and then of course he has Theo, which is named after his uncle, with Lexi, Miss Alexandra Demira. We miss her so much, and then of course now he has Lonnie with Tamara Price. So or Tamara Price, I forgot how to pronounce the name either way. So now it's a little bit of a Carver family happening. I just want to bring up and a lot of folks you did love in the I think it was the late nineties, early two thousands when Jonah was on. So there's a little piece of history, and that's who's related. There we go. And what was look it? who's related. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That just, that just made, made my day. Love and it. now we have our next segment, which is Mark's. Quote of the week. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, I love it. All right, I just wanted like a little dancing cartoon mark. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I love that. it. You gotta find a way to do that. Um, all right, so my quote of the week. Um, I had sent a message. I have to set this up because I sent you guys a message saying. I think we have to get rid of my segment. These oh, people yeah, aren't yeah, funny. He did, he did say that, yeah. And then Tuesday happened, and uh, Marlena and Andre in the park almost made me pee myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, just, I, I, I don't know if it's because it was the two of them having that, like, the, the stuff they were saying was just, I don't know if it was because it was them. Yes. You know, Dr. Marlena Evans yes. and Andre DeMira uh, yes. that it made it so funny, but I thought it was absolutely hysterical. But my quote of the week will go to Miss... Dr. Marlena Evans, uh, actually, with her scene with uh, with John, when John says, "Look, we're um, looks like we're going to have a uh, treasure hunt. You start upstairs, I'll scrounge around down here. Try to think like Sammy." <laughs> and Marlena says, "Oh, oh, God help us." <laughs> I love that line. Think like Sammy. <laughs> so Deidre Hall, Miss. I keep saying Miss Dr. Marlena Evans yes. gets my. I think it's the first time she's gotten. Oh, wow. I think so. Marks. Marks. What of the week? <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone just asked, why isn't there one for the three snaps award? I was thinking you. I know. I was well, waiting. I thought there would be one too. I like, guess so. I we can do sure. one. We'll do one for him. Well, I don't. I don't know what. Yeah. What, yeah. I mean, what's I don't the know. sound? Yeah. What was sound? I know. Yeah. What thing, what thing? How about I'll do a? I'll, I'll go. Ugh. Tony's three snaps. Oh, this is easy. <laughs> Dang. The same way I go, oh, Billy Flynn. <laughs> Billy Flynn. <laughs> That's not very nice to Billy. Um, oh, people, oh, people are asking whose voice it is. It's Tony's voice. It's Tony's voice. voice. Uh, I have a question. Should, oh, don't get rid of Quote of the Week. Okay. Should we... Should if I don't have a Quote of the Week, then it's just going to get defaulted to the old writers. Any week I don't have okay. a Quote of the Week. I'm, I'm sure just, you'll be able to find something. I'm sure. Really but um, I just hate because like it used to be like I would like literally go, oh my god, I wrote down seven different quotes. Well, you can Which one am I going to use? You can also do a quote that's serious. It could be something that I thought about that. Funny. I thought about that. A that it may be like something, something that's significant. Yes. You'll see um, that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I can do that. Quick yeah. question before we go to Fan of the Week: mm-hmm. Should we take a few callers? Oh sure. sure, why we not? If, we, if we've got time, yeah. yeah we oh, time. we do have some time. We have time. 
Yeah, if you have a burning question you'd like to ask Tony. One of us or James, James. or Mark. just to talk about yeah. this week. Yeah. So let's let's quickly get through everything. Um I we're gonna have our lovely engineer Mark post the phone number in our chat. I think we're just if Mark's engineering, we're gonna just call me Lorraine because I get confused. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're not. I'm sure Mark is fine, but I get confused. <laughs> like Mark is fine. Like, uh, um, Annie, I liked the quote too. Thank you, Annie. So, who's our fan of the week? Oh, oh, you. Oh, right yeah. now we're gonna do. Okay, yeah. fan of the week is going to go to somebody. I'll say the name last. Who tweeted out this? <laughs> who would hire a detective who doesn't even know his own identity? Hashtag John Black. <laughs> <laughs> and that, and that's kind of like weird so, thing. my boy Derek Hazelton gets fan of the yes, week Derek. for tweeting that out. I that I was laying in bed and I saw it and I started laughing and I took a screenshot and I sent it immediately yeah. to you guys. I'm like, I think we got a fan of the week. Yeah. I, this is funny. I liked it. And Derek, so, is, and Derek is a fan of ours. So Derek, he is. Derek is, and he usually agrees with everything I say. So oh Derek, and it had nothing to do with the fact that you agree with everything I say. Right. I really thought it was. Je- I did. I read it before I looked to see. Yeah. Who no, no, it's good. No, it's a good. It's a good one. So, that so is true. So we're gonna take just a few phone calls um, since we're running. A little ahead of time, and yeah. I believe we have a caller on the on the line. Oh, wow. Hello, caller. Welcome to After Buzz TV's Dish and Days. You're on live. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Cheryl from South Carolina. Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl. How are you? We should have a audi- just, we, have a, we should have an audio comment. that says Cheryl's on line one. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, Cheryl? I said I just have a comment. Okay. okay yes, please. After three. Freaking months of hype about Peter Rackle returning, <laughs> yes. mm-hmm. and three torturous weeks of watching an unknown man lay in a dungeon. Mm-hmm. I got 24 hours of seeing him be diagnosed, rekindle his the love of his life right. that everybody says is so great, and die. Yeah. yeah. And now I get to watch a generic funeral where they don't even bring back anybody of him before. <laughs> right. <laughs> you said generic. You well, out. you know what the good news is, Cheryl? Me, James, and Tony are still alive. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Okay, I got you. Got me there. That's okay. So, okay, so that's there okay. is a light at the end of that dark, dark days of our lives. Maybe tunnel. we could get. Maybe we could get hashtag Maxine son. <laughs> He's gonna take down the child. set. That's what I'm saying. Billy Flynn on there. Yeah. I don't even know what she said. I just heard Billy Flynn. I'm gonna agree. <laughs> that the hashtag Maxine son would be said, sitting next to. Oh. Hashtag Maxine son. Hashtag Abe's other illegitimate child, uh-huh. and hashtag Billy Flint, Mrs. Billy Flynn, on oh. there for the scene for the funeral. Can you like imagine that. if we I were like all that. sitting there? I had all three of us on there. I like that. I like that. I would sit next to Hope and hold her hand. If it was me. Yeah, there you go. I'd sit on Billy's I mean, lap. God knows it won't be somebody who's actually in the immediate family. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> I mean, if it's uh, true to will form. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I guess if somebody in my immediate family dies, I have the option of not being there, which I didn't right. know was an Me option. Either. Me either. Well, if you're off somewhere, then yeah, you don't. Um, sure. I guess in their defense, they do get paid to be there. So, well, this is true. <laughs> well, Cheryl, thank you so much for calling. Thank with you, Cheryl. Your comment and keep Thanks. watching us Bye. and keep supporting us. Bye. Willa agrees with Cheryl too. Yeah, they agree. She's pissed. That's a lot of exclamation uh, points, it is, Willa. Willa. Uh, <laughs> looks like we have another Ooh. caller. Uh, caller, welcome to AfterBuzz TV's Dish and Days. You are on live. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yes. Hello. My name is Patrick, and I have a question concerning Bo. Okay, okay Patrick. Did Bo, did Bo die Friday at the end of the show? From oh, listen. From, Thank you. From what we can tell. It uh, appears so. There have it, been rumors that he didn't die, he just passed out. Uh, I, I, there were some rumors coming out about that. I think it's rumors born out of people being upset that he died. Right. I, I yeah. Look, there was no life <laughs> in that, and it was too long, because yeah. you would think he would have, like, like gave that last kiss and went and then, I mean, and then popped okay. out and went, oh, I'm sorry, I'm here. I'll say this. How mean is that <laughs> if he's not... <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, come on, don't do that to Hope. Patrick, do you think do you think Bo's dead or alive? Is he there? He might have hung up. Oh, Patrick might have might have said what oh, he, he needed said to peace. say and then hung he up. Said he was that, like, I'm done. That was okay. nice of you, Patrick. All right. <laughs> well, okay. else? well, thank you, Patrick. All right. Well, uh, we yeah, have another. So, uh, Alyssa said she heard he passed out. Oh, well, I, I, I thought he passed out too. I don't believe that. <laughs> well, we have another caller. Welcome to AfterBuzz TV's Dish and Days. You are on live. What's your name and where are you calling from? 
Hi, it's Jillian. Hi, oh, Jillian. Jillian. Oh, I did say it wrong, Hi, didn't I? I can't believe I got through. Yay. Oh, dreams come true, girl. Dreams come true. <laughs> yeah, Sorry I, really I pronounced your name do. wrong. You guys really made my week. Oh, I that mean, was a... You I made... mean, that day was... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I came from Dallas. Oh, my gosh. To go there. Wow. Oh, wow. Right. Wow. And then I'm walking, I'm walking, and I'm doing my <laughs> little silly periscope, and then... Wow, there you guys are. It's great. So I don't, really don't have a question. I'm just so thrilled they got through to you. <laughs> you have no question for any of us? You have, you, have, you have the floor right now. I have no question. Oh, oh okay. Um, okay, so. <laughs> all right, so are you guys going to do recordings? Do you want to go do animation? <laughs> are you going to have um, Wilson on the show? And my, my thing was to have him... Flip it and forget it. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, we would totally. absolutely love to have Guy Wilson on the show. Yes. Uh, I tweeted him. Uh-huh. I offered him birthday cake and pizza yes. rolls. We, <laughs> we have tweeted. We have called. Mm-hmm. We have reached out. The Our last resort is for you, the fans, to... Yes. Reach out to him and tweet him and say, you guys really, really want him to come yeah. on the show. Um, he knows exactly who to contact to make that happen. <laughs> um, okay. But if, if you guys okay, band together totally. and, and tweet mm-hmm. him and message him and on all social media, on his Instagram, on his Twitter, yeah. hopefully he will see it and say, you know what? I need to do it. I'm going to contact Tony. And make it happen. Oh, I do have a question. I do have a question. Okay. Yes. Tony, um, it was um, in the chat room. They were saying um, they were saying that you were on Ellen and you were dancing. <laughs> when was that? Because I gotta find it. Okay. Uh, uh, well, I was on. Uh, well, I wasn't in the uh, audience. I, I was in the audience of, of Ellen, and this was during the commercial break. Um, the. Uh, yeah. So Beyonce single ladies came on and for anyone who knows me knows that I know that entire routine yes, from top to bottom. You do. Mm-hmm. And um the song came on. Well, who doesn't? Right. Who doesn't right. Know that? Um the song came on and I started doing it and the cameras were rolling and they put it up on Ellen Tube and I actually just posted it on the Edition Days uh Facebook page. Yeah. Uh but if oh, you good, so I get to see you, that's yes. great. Yeah. So, oh my gosh. Yeah, so oh my if gosh. you uh if you go if I you just- Search it. You can do like Ellen to audience single mm-hmm. ladies, and there will be my picture like this. <laughs> awesome. Pop up. That is so, yeah. awesome. Yes. yes. Oh right. my gosh. Awesome. James, Mark, Tony, you guys were so so nice to me. Um, it you was were so great it to was us. it was so nice, and yeah, I lost the Periscope video. I don't know how I'm going to be able to retrieve it. So, are you guys going to be at the next day of days? Oh, when is that? <laughs> next year. Next year. I, I don't oh, know. Well, next probably. year. <laughs> well, we hope so. We hope so. We hope so. We're still on the air. Bye, We're still on bye. the air. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if I haven't well, gotten fired yeah. yet, Jillian, I'll be there. <laughs> It's always a Please possibility. Be there. I know I, you don't want to be hugged now because I heard that. I, but. C- I come to the studios and I buzz my I I'll buzz the a, buzzer. I give you a slight hug. <laughs> Thank you. And I wait to see if they're going to let me in every week. I never know. We let him in. Oh, Am I going to get in? We let him in. You're good. Keep pushing. <laughs> <laughs> was that Steven? No, was that, that was Mark. Oh, was that Mark? Oh, I thought it was Steven like chiming in. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> thank you, Julian, for thank for you, calling Julian. and making Julian. our day. Oh, you were great. <laughs> This is so great. I, was like, I don't want to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we'll write you up. We'll write but you up. Thank notes. you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. All right, we have time for one more caller. Yes. Uh, welcome. You are on AfterBuzz TV's Dish and Days. Uh, where's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, it's Carolyn Topol. Oh, Hi, Carolyn. Carolyn. How are you? Good. How are you all? We're Great. doing great. Do you have a, a comment, question? What are your thoughts on this week's episodes of Days? Well, uh, my thoughts are they certainly kept my fingers typing on on Twitter. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave that. There. <laughs> how do you, how do you feel about Bo's death? Um, I, I'm basically in, in with the um, with everybody in the majority. I just mm-hmm. thought it was. The proportion of the time being tortured and torturing us having yeah. to watch it, yeah, yeah, versus letting us have a little reunion time if that's where they were going with right. it, it was it was a real letdown. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. the real the real reason I called was I wanted to thank you guys for sharing all those interviews for day, from day of day. Oh, oh you're, welcome. you're welcome. You're very welcome. We had we had they so were much wonderful. Fun. Yeah, they were great. 
Everybody was super super sweet. Yeah, and the three of us had the best time actually. Yeah, Be- oh my behind God. the scenes, we were making fun. all kinds of friends if you can imagine that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and I well, and I was so giggly. <laughs> yeah, he was. He, Tony was giddy the whole I time. Was, he was. Well, I was. I, I almost turned into Mark because I was. <laughs> I was just so happy at the fact that like we were able to be there. That that James and Mark were were able to like meet like the cast members. Yeah. And, and I I was more so happy for them. Um, and and happy for our experience than, than yeah. anything. So it was it was great and and thankful that we were able to share these interviews with you guys um, and hopefully you know some tidbits. Yeah, yeah that was really yeah. true. And I have to say, I loved when Peggy McKay gave you an education on using the word guy with a woman. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh she she wasn't the only one. She was well, the only one. Well, uh, it, it was actually Deidre Hall. Yeah. Um, who off? This off is an off camera thing. Mm-hmm. So Part I. Well, no, I think didn't the, Peggy do it also? She no, no, no. I feel like there was someone well, else that said it. Deidre no, Hall did I, it first. Did it in the interview. Yeah, well, in your interview, she did in your interview too. Well, yeah. I ca- I caught myself because uh, I said you guys, and I think before Peggy could say anything, I said I'm sorry. I was like, I just learned from Deidre Hall yes, that yes, in the presence of a woman, you are not supposed to say guys because you're not guys. And I told. Deidre, I said, whenever I do that, I will picture her face, me too. like correcting me. Yeah, and that's exactly what Cause she because literally she corrected me, James. Yeah. She corrected me because I said, "Come on, guys, come on over." She's like, "I am a lady." Yes. Like, oh, okay, girl. And yeah. I go, "You're Deidre Hall. You can say anything you want." Like, yes. you would think yes. that uh, being with me all this time, you guys would get used to saying "lady." <laughs> <laughs> but and, and Deidre and Deidre did it very politely yeah, she did. In, she did. in making sure that we understood. That and I had a great interview with her. As you saw, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great interview with her. So they were great. great. They were yeah. great. Now everybody. It was wonderful. Yeah, please, please make sure you guys share those yes. interviews. Like, post them on like different sites. Post yes. them on your sites. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll post tonight, um, and you guys uh, can let us know which was your favorite. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's a good we'll, idea. We'll post the fa- we'll pin the favorite one. That's true. Well, yours has the, the Deidre and Drake. Oh, yeah, my Deidre and Drake. My DJ and Drake one has the most. It's like thirty yeah. five hundred or so. But I haven't done my Billy campaign yet. So. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you just wait. Well, I, I thought Brian DeChilla was hilarious. Wasn't it great? I actually yeah, haven't even watched it back oh, yet. You haven't? Oh, I haven't had a chance to you watch haven't? it back. I haven't. I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen yours with um, Aloma. 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 I don't good. think I saw. No, I did watch the Deidre and. Dr- yeah. I, I feel like there's a couple other ones that I've missed. I, I don't think I watched um, uh, Abe and. That's and, a good one. And, um, uh, uh, Wally. Wally. I, I know, I've, I've, names, I, I've watched every single one of you guys, and they're they're really good, you guys. So yeah, Carolyn, tell your folks to share them. Share them on your yes. pages. Yeah. Get them out there. It's, Thank it's, you, it's, Ruby. I'm sorry, sure. talking to people in the chat room. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you, thank you Carolyn, Carolyn, for calling in and always yeah. supporting us. Yes, Carolyn. We love it. And we will talk soon. Okay. Mm. Oh, 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 gone. Go. All right, so Mark really hung quick, up on her. Uh, <laughs> really quick, because we're starting to run out of time, yeah. let's go into some news and gossip. After Buzz. Oh, did you find what I... I did. Okay. So okay. I only have one thing to share, courtesy of Mark J. Freeman. Um, Greg Vaughn, who you guys know as Eric Brady, will appear in a Hallmark movie called The Christmas Note that is uh, premiering next Sunday, November 29th. Um, so make sure you guys tune into the Hallmark channel and watch the premiere of The Christmas Note um, with Greg Vaughn. Can I give my news now? I can do my news. Is there next, news? Well, my next Monday. Oh, that's I'm right. Doing, yes, yes, um, yes, yes. I'm doing a little one-on-one interview. Is, with, it, is it days related? It's uh. not. It's after Buzz related. Oh, <laughs> is it Days of Our Lives related? Because that's the show we're it doing. It is not. Oh, I know. Okay, I'll, so I won't funny. say anything. Forget it. Don't watch me next Monday at uh, noon with Carney Wilson. Don't do it. That's right. No are you going to make me wait? Are you going to make me turn around and say goodbye? Until then? Are you going to make me... Ho- I'll oh, see. Give me mm. Oh, <laughs> I'll make you hold on for one more time. And yeah, now it's time it. for <laughs> predictions. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a second. Yeah, yeah. Now, As life usually does. Buzz, <laughs> <laughs> Rude. Okay, so really see, we, quick. Can we need an audio of that, too? I have my predictions. predictions. Our predictions. What's Mark's going to hate us. Mark's going to be like, I am not engineering that shit show anymore. <laughs> what Sorry, Mark. What predictions do you guys you have? Hit, you hit play for our show probably more than any. You probably, you probably for all the shows you do in a day. Quickly, quickly, we have to do that. Oh, my prediction. <laughs> um, we have time. No, we don't. We have, to, we have to get to the GH report followed by Dish and Ace. Oh, that's right. Um, my prediction is that Chase is Zach. Ooh. Shut up. Ooh. Where did where did that theory come from? Oh. In my little head. So Zach's alive. Zach's alive, and it's Chase. Interesting. Okay, that's a prediction. Hey, I was right about Bo. 
You know what? Well, then that won't make him being so creepy by being there. Although it would be really weird that he likes Sierra. <laughs> so maybe I take it back. <laughs> that That's going to be quite a that stretch. That just popped in my head the other day. And I that's going like, to oh. be a stretch. My prediction is someone, I actually mirror somebody in the chat room. I think that Claire and Sierra are going to be the new Sean Douglas and Phillip. Because they're their aunt, their aunt, their aunt's niece. Sean Douglas and Philip. Because they're uncle, nephew, and okay. they go, but they're in the same age range. I think it's gonna be the same kind of thing where one's gonna be like a good girl, one's gonna be kind of like a uh, okay. bad girl, mm -hmm. and they're gonna have they're gonna play like the same guy. I have a feeling they're gonna follow that whole. I thought maybe you were gonna say they were gonna be lesbians. Oh, no, they're related. They're niece and, and aunt. Jeez. Um, and crackers. Cheese and crackers. Cheese and crackers. I predict that hashtag Maxine Sun may arrive in Salem next week. <laughs> next week. Actually, are you on I love that you have a date on it now. Are you on anytime, are you on anytime soon? I I believe so. I believe you can see me in the background of Horton Town Square very shopping, soon. Shopping. Wait for a door to open. Yeah, just shopping. <laughs> you know. You know, doing my use. Yeah, That's true. Use. Zach would be older than Sierra. Okay, I take it all back. Yeah, Zach would be older. I don't know, but that made us think. All right, yes. guys, uh, before we head out, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Lorraine Love, L O R A Y N E L O V E, or on Facebook backslash the Mark J Freeman. And on Twitter, you can find me at Black Hope LA. I always laugh if I say it out in front of you guys. You should. Black, <laughs> Black Hope LA. Continuing, continue tweeting Chris and Alfonso to contact me. I want to talk to her so bad. Yes. Also, you can follow me on Instagram as L Black Hope and on Facebook, James Law Jr. She is the Black. <laughs> she is Black Hope LA. I like her LA. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh God. Thank empty. God there wasn't anything in there. Thank God he drank the vodka. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you guys can find me on all social media platforms at Lounger with Tony or my website, loungerwithtony.com. Thank you guys for tuning in to another edition days. Make sure you like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And we'll be back next Sunday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another full recap of your favorite soap opera, Days Dishing. of Our Lives. Oh. Um, yeah, Days of Our Lives. We're going to say. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. I almost said Dishy Days again. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. <laughs> <laughs>